Hello, apa kabar? That's how are you in Indonesian. I'm Mira from Alaya Pilates, Basi Ho Studio in Jakarta, and from Flow with Mira. It's roller class day. We are going to do a mixture of Basi Pilates reformer and mat exercises with the roller. The roller is going to assist us to make an exercise more challenging or easier for our balance and proprioception. So let's roll. We're going to start on a mat. We're going to give our back some TLC. We're going to do some back release. So let's go ahead, place the roller across the mat. Now, let's go ahead and bring our back onto the roller. And I promise it's going to be amazing. So we have the hands resting underneath the back of the head. And we're going to go ahead and lift the bottom up. And all we need to do is roll down and roll up and you know just going through our back and see if there's any spot on our back that needs a little bit more tension maybe the muscles a bit tight this is the moment where you're going to release it doesn't that feel amazing this is just so heaven for me you can go as low as your body allows you to and and as high as the top of your shoulder. You can go into a slight side flexion or you go a little bit more to the side of your ribs. You know, there's no hard rule here. I just want you to listen to your body and see what feels good. Maybe you have a bit of a snap crackle pops happening in your back and that is excellent, all right. Oh, okay, let's go a little bit more. So good. Okay, like that. This is actually my to-go-to self-massage whenever I need it. You know, after a long day of teaching or being a mother and get on the roller and release the back. Okay, let's bring that to a stop. Now, let's place our middle back on the roller here and still have our hands interlaced on in the back of the head here we're going to go ahead and allow our spine to go into extension so arch over the roller support your head like as though you're cradling the head and then as you breathe out i want you to lengthen the spine up and fold the body with length to flexion and inhale, we're going to allow the spine to lengthen and reach as much as you can, as long as you can, with our head supported in our hands. Exhale, keeping the length in mind, we come up. And again, inhale, start to mobilize our spine, opening oh, the front of the body. Exhale, we come up again, another beautiful, beautiful stretch for the spine in breath. And exhale, don't we agree? This feels great, thumbs up, right? Thumbs up with me. And again, in breath, so amazing. Exhale, we come up. I can just do this the whole day in breath. No, we're not going to do this the whole class. We're going to continue with something else in a bit. And exhale, we come up. Last one here, in breath, you go long, go as far as you can. And exhale, we lift, we lengthen, we come up, we relax that shoulders down a little bit and we'll let it go. All right, let's come up from the roller and I want you to bring the roller underneath you here and then place your feet on the roller. So go into a supine position, prepare yourself for a pelvic curl. I'd like you to have your feet in a prehensile position. So, Mold your feet over the roller here. 
So we're starting to wake up the arch of the feet here. Now, this is gonna be a little trickier than a normal pelvic curl because we have an unstable surface underneath our feet here. So, okay, let's set ourselves here. So we've got a parallel feet. We're gonna settle the pelvis down to the floor. I'm gonna keep the arms nice and long. Neck is nice and in a good curve here. Your upper back's resting on the floor. And let's go. We exhale. Allow the abdominal to really take our lower back into a deflection here. And then as you do that, you're gonna start feeling the hamstring kicking on here. So press the feet down onto the roller and continue articulating the spine up to that beautiful bridge position. Whoa, your hamstrings are awake in breath. Exhale, roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Deflection, stretching the back and release back to starting position. Okay, how's the hamstrings? Exhale, press the feet down. Deep curl into the lower spine. Then we peel the pelvis up. Then your hamstrings are smiling. And we're gonna lift everything up to that bridge position. Now, don't push the roller away. Even in fact, think about pulling the roller towards your bottom. And exhale, we roll down and articulate, articulate, articulate and lengthen back to starting position. Now here, as you come back and arrive, I want you to think about reaching the sitting bone towards the heels here, right? And exhale, as you go into deep curl in the lower spine, keep that sitting bone reaching up to the back of your knee as you peel the spine up. Up, 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 up. All right, pressing the feet down onto the roller and exhale, we roll down. As you roll down, allow the neck to grow away, lengthen away from the spine and come back down to the floor. Let's do one more time here. Breathe out, deep flexion, deeper, peeling up, peeling up, creating some warmth in our hip extensors here, in breath, exhale, we roll down and down and back and release. Wow, how do your hamstrings feel? Okay, mind not awake. Let's go into our footwork here. So keeping the roller straight to start with, keeping your Pelvis in neutral. I want you to dorsiflex your feet, heels on the roller here. Now, we're going to straighten the legs away as if you're pushing away the foot bar on the reformer here. Keeping the pelvis nice and stable, keeping the spine nice and long, and then we come back in as we in breath. Exhale, reach the leg away, stay in dorsiflex, in breath. And exhale. Now I want you to just lift the head up for a second here. I want you to check that you are in good alignment here. So that your center of your hips and the heels are in one line and your pelvis in good placement. And come back down as you bring the leg back in. Exhale. You reach. In breath. Exhale. Now with the spine, I like to imagine you know, gummy bear, but you have gummy snake. You know how you eat the gummy snake, you pull away and you sort of stretch the gummy snake before you sort of tear it. And I want you to think about that your spine is like that gummy snake. I want you to lengthen away before the breaking point as you stretch the legs out and bring them in. Let's do one more time here and come back in and stay. Now I want you to go onto your tiptoe, right to ball of the feet on the roller here, and go ahead and press the roller away or stretch the roller away. Point the feet, pelvis is stable, and then drag the roller back onto the ball of your feet. And so reach and we point, and we'll come back and exhale. Keep that lengthening sensation in the spine as you reach the leg away. 
in breath. Exhale, two more. In breath. And last one. In breath. Okay, next one, small V. Onto the heel. So dorsiflex the feet. Externally rotate the leg from the hip joint. And let's go. We press and extend out. In breath, drag it in. Extend out. In breath. And. In breath. Again. Again, you can lift the head up for a second. Check whether you are in good alignment here. And back. Two more. And back. Last one. And come back. Okay. Open V. Heel slightly wider than the pelvis. And we stretch out, staying dorsiflex feet. And return. Exhale. And return. Exhale. Keeping the stability in the pelvis at all time. And back. Last one here. We reach. And now onto the ball of our feet. Stay in open feet position. We reach and then we point the feet and we come back. Reach and point. And we come back again. And come back. And two more. Reach. Spine stays nice and long. Last one, reach. And we come back. Bring the feet to the middle of the roller and stretch the legs away. I want the roller just above the ankle. And take the arms overhead. Let's go to our roll up here. We inhale, legs are together. The arms come up onto a chest, lift arms by the side of your thigh. Exhale, we peel the spine up over your pelvis, keeping that deep C curve in the spine. Then we breathe out, we roll back, and we take the arms over next to your ears. Again, we inhale, we lift. Exhale, we come up into that C curve. We pull back with abdominals, we reach forward, and with the arms and lengthening the spine up, away from the pelvis, and we roll back again. And take your arms overhead. Again, two more. Inhale, we lift. Exhale. We come up and over into the C curve. Pull back in the abdominals. And we roll back. Arms overhead. Last one. Inhale. C curve. Exhale. Come up. Over. Over. Good. And then we lift the spine up. And let's change the roller position. I want you to bring your roller lengthway with the mat and slightly higher up to the top of your mat here. So when you go ahead and sit down in the roller, when you have your feet in front of you here, I want your feet to be on a mat fully. You can have it on a mat, you can have it on the floor, but not halfway between the mat and the floor. So sit towards the front of your roller or towards the end of the roller here. Lifting the spine as and tall. Imagine you have a piece of string here, pulling up, up like a puppet, stretching up to the sky. We take the arms forward here. Have your feet aligned with the center of your hip here. Now from here, I want you to lift the heels up, come up onto the ball of your feet and just take a moment here to just feel your balance, spreading the toes down to your mat, and just feeling the arch of your feet traveling up to your pelvis via the inner thighs, how the inner thighs are active here to keep your balance nice and stable. And feel that lift in the spine helping you to feel lighter on the roller. And I hear, so, 
you know, have a conversation with the body. What am I doing? Can I feel my feet? I don't really feel my feet, maybe, you know? Can you really feel the arch of your feet activated at the moment? And then can you feel it in the thigh? Am I falling to the right? Am I falling to the left? And just have that quick conversation in the body here. All right, because it's gonna reset it with a good balance for the rest of the class. All right, and then from there, I want you to just lower the heels, resist the heel down, but lower them down and keep the arch of your feet alive, active. And here, into the C curve, we round. And then we roll back, keep that feet active, inner thighs active to a point when there's no turning back, we come back forward again, we lift through the spine. Again, we pull back with the abdominal here, and then we roll back, roll back, roll back, tricky, and come forward over the pelvis, we lift, we have that string pulling up above you. Two more, we roll back, and exhale, come forward, and lift, lengthen, 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 last one, C curve, and imagine someone's holding your hand here, so that you don't fall back, you're gonna feel that lift from that person, to help yourself up. All right, we're gonna take yourself all the way down to the ground here. It's gonna be tricky. So we're gonna pull back into the C curve. We're gonna roll back here. You may have your hands underneath the thigh if you want to. We're gonna try to get that sacrum down, lower back down, middle back down, anchor the feet, deep curl, and take your spine all the way onto the roller. Just readjust yourself if you're falling off the roller here, and then readjust the feet. Well done, it's tricky, hey? All right, let's take the arms up to the ceiling here, palms facing your thighs. Now again, lifting the heels up, so coming onto a releve position, really spread the toes down onto the floor here. Again, have the conversation, can you really connect the ball of the feet to your inner thighs, to your pelvic floor? We're gonna take the arms overhead to your ears. As you inhale, without lifting the rib cage, exhale, down to the feet side. Inhale, keep moving the arms up and down. In breath, you're giving your body here a chance to, to work on its balance. In breath, getting that, creating that neuromuscular connection from the brain, from the neurons, to all the muscles around your body to make sure that your body doesn't fall off the roller. Your body is very smart. Your brain is very smart. It's gonna do what it's gonna do to make sure that you don't fall over here. So, warming up your body, your center, to find its balance. You know, it's like cooking. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper, a bit of chili, a bit of sugar, so it tastes good. Your body's thinking a bit of abdominals, a bit of deep back muscle, a bit of obliques, a bit of hip flexor, a bit of hamstrings, a bit of everything to have you balance here. Allow your body to have its internal conversation here and just observe. Let's do one more time with the arms here. I can feel my hamstring ooh, shaking away. That's good. And I'm bringing it down. My left foot is already shaking. All right, take your arms down, lower the feet down. Okay, now here I want you to go into single leg lift. We're gonna lift, I'm gonna start with my left foot. We're gonna releve up and then we point and releve and then down. So we're gonna start with this, articulating the foot. So again, warming up your balance here and articulating the feet. So we're really working on the interesting muscle of the feet here. Sometimes we forget that that muscle here, the foot muscle is so important to get a really good balance, to achieve a good balance while standing, running, anything that you do on your feet here. So we're working, waking up the foot muscle here. Now here, keeping that center nice and switched on, take the foot onto point and then we're gonna take it up to a leg lift. So tabletop, we lower point, releve, and down. We got releve, we point, and we lift. And down, and back, and, and see how with that 
sort of warm up with the feet action, the relevant action, and how easier, how much easier it is for your body to find that balance. And then down and go. So lift the foot through articulation and bring it up to tabletop. And then down, articulate down. Last one. And then down. Now let's take it up again. We breathe out, take it up and balance, hold. We're going to bring the opposite arm up as we in breath. Next year is perhaps, exhale, take it down. Same arm, left arm overhead. Exhale, again, right arm overhead. Exhale, left arm overhead. Exhale, one more each side, right arm overhead. Exhale, left arm. Exhale, and inhale, we lower the foot. Let's go with the other foot. We're going to come up onto releve, and then we point, and then releve, and heel down. And here, working on the connection of your center, so you can stay balanced on a roller, and then down. So releve, we point, releve, we start with the articulation of the foot here before we take ourselves to a single leg lift. Last one, releve, point, releve, and down. Now go ahead and releve, point, we'll lift up, and down through articulation, up, lift, and down, and, and down. Two more, exhale, lift, and down. Last one, exhale, lift, and let's hold that opposite arm as we inhale, we float. Left arm up and down. Same arm, same leg. Inhale, right arm up here. Exhale, and opposite arm, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last one, each side, opposite arm. Exhale. Last one, exhale, and let's hold. Let's bring the other leg up to tabletop. Find a deep center here, a little rocky. Let's go to a leg changes. First leg comes down as we exhale. Take it up, switch, and take it up, switch, 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 switch. One more each side, last one, and up, lower one foot down, through articulation of the foot, we take the heel down, and the other one down, articulate the foot, and take it down. Brilliant, let's take your arms up to the sky here. Okay, now this is going to be fun. All right, I want you to imagine you holding a 10 kilo ball in your arms. So, you need to activate the upper abdominal to maintain that ball in your hand. Now here, we're gonna lift your right foot up to tabletop. So, engaging the left inner thigh. All right, connecting the left foot to your inner thigh. We're gonna articulate through your right foot, point, releve, point, and bring it up to a tabletop. We we'll take it down and through articulation of the foot and heel come down again two more time you breathe out and through foot articulation foot come down last one work on the foundation foot your left leg and well done now let's go transfer over to your right foot on the floor so allow the big toe, the right big toe to press down so you can have a conversation with the inner thigh. And then articulate the left foot and take it up. It's tricky for me on this side. And we take it down. And if this is too challenging, you can take one hand down through the, on the floor to give you a little bit more base for support. And down. Uh, and two more. I'm doing an extra one on this side. And last one. And back, brilliant. Okay, turn the palms to your thigh, take your arms 
next to your ears here let's go into hundreds breath we breathe that arms come up to a chest lift checkpoint is your pelvis even here are your knees on the same width apart or even width apart from your center and take the arms up and return and exhale in breath lift come down exhale spread your toes down to the floor lift the arch of your feet off the floor to support your balance last one exhale in breath return now on to a hundreds here so it's a little different we're going to go into two exhale two inhale and we're going to prance our feet so we're going to go inhale prepare right foot up right heel up left heel up inhale right heel up left heel up exhale so prance the feet inhale now you can also tap the arms inhale exhale inhale if everything's too much you can just lift the arms long by the side and just work the feet exhale inhale exhale in breath exhale in breath exhale in breath last set and in breath both heels are up stay both heels come down deep pull in the abs take the arms up and take the arms overhead all right let's take it further we exhale we lift all right here hold the center articulate your right foot up to a pointed position bring it up Whee! tabletop now if we can bring it down and switch and down and switch with the leg changes and switch if it's too tricky take your hands down to the floor give yourself a little bit more base for support and if not you can just keep the arms floating and 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 one more each side and last one both feet are down arms up to the sky and release down arms long by the side carefully roll yourself to the side and very quickly push the roll away and lie on your back and enjoy Woo. a beautiful nice open body it's the best moment ever I'll tell you that it's the greatest thing ever all right let's move on let's bring the roller we've got more coming we've got bring the roller underneath your sacrum your pelvis so lift the pelvis up so i want the roller to be placed just above the bum cheek all right you can have your hands on the side here you can have the hands on top here now from here whew, hug your center float one leg up to the tabletop second leg up thighs together knees together spine twist supine over to me as we inhale rotate through your center exhale over to the other side in breath anchor the shoulder Ooh, i've got a few cracks on my back that felt great inhale rotate exhale true center we need to glue the thighs together exhale and again one more each side exhale in breath exhale back to center and stay dorsiflex our feet we externally rotate the thigh as we inhale to a frog position exhale bring them together inhale exhale you want to make sure that again recruiting your abdominal and your back muscle balance them so you can get a good placement on the roller in breath out with the leg exhale in breath exhale last one and stay out let's take ourselves to our hip work here so this is taken from the reformer we're going to exhale actually it's not reformer it's from the step barrel and then come back in in breath exhale well, this is from the reformer 
in breath. So imagine you are reaching the legs away and your feet are in the strap and come back. Exhale. We want to aim that heel to go on a horizontal line. Exhale. In breath. Two more. In breath. Last one. In breath. Come back in. Close the legs, stretch it up to the sky for our scissors. We open, shh, shh, and shh, shh, and shh. Stay parallel here, shh, shh, reaching and pull back with your opposite leg. Shh, shh, and shh, shh. Two more sets, shh, and shh, shh. Last set, shh, shh. Last one, shh. Legs back to the center, helicopter. We're going to bring the leg into the scissors. We're going to spin around over to the opposite direction, opposite side, and back to center. Continue the same direction. We're going parallel leg and externally rotate in the hip joint and back to center. Again, in breath and again over, externally rotate and center. Two more, in breath, and up, and center. Last one, and up, and center. Then the other way, we go down, opposite, rotate. So this exercises are taken from the spine corrector. Exercises, and then bring it back and down, open, rotate, and center. Again, two more. Really work on the mobilizing the hip joint here, working through from parallel to external rotation and back to parallel again. And that's the last one here, bring it back to a bicycle. We open, we're gonna tap the floor, bend the bottom leg, we're gonna bring it up, make sure we go to our scissors leg first before we take the other leg down and brush the floor. And split, down, again extend, we bend, and extend, we go bend, and extend, bend, and extend, a great way for you to practice, if you are learning, you're practicing for a season bicycle in a traditional mat exercise. Use a roller, down. One more, and one more set here. And again, we go down and back, reverse. Top leg will go down, so you can brush the floor, reach it out, and bend, brush the floor, reach it out, and Bend, brush the floor, reach out to a split, then we bend. Slide, reach out, then we bend. Slide, reach out, a great stretch across the front of our hip here. And one more each side, reach. And the last one, reach and bring the leg back up to the sky. Roll over, arms long by the side. I want you to press the arm down onto the roller here. On, I'm about to slop, slip away here. And now we're going to bring the legs to a diagonal position. Take the legs up to the sky, 90 degree. Press the arms down as you bring the leg over your face and then roll the spine off the roller. Dorsiflex the feet, separate, lower down. Roll back. Bring the pelvis onto the roller. Point the feet, reach the leg away diagonally, adduct the legs up to the sky. Press the arms, use a tricep, roll over, peel the spine off, dorsiflex, separate, lower it down. We roll back, back, release the pelvis, point, reach away and together. Again, two more, up. And press the arms down, lift, 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 dorsiflex, separate, lower the feet down from the hip joint. We roll back, 
settle the pelvis back onto the roller, point the feet, reach away elegantly, and then bring it up and press the arm. The last one here, roll over. We dorsiflex, we separate, we lower it down, we roll back, release the pelvis onto the roller, point the feet, reach away, and let's take ourselves to a jackknife. Bring the legs up. Roll over, and then we tap the feet down. You gotta really press the arms down onto the roller. Now, lift the legs up, press the arms, press the arm, press the arm. Roll down. Legs away, again, 290, open the shoulder here, and roll over, we tap the feet, we lift up, 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 we roll, five, who am I, triceps are on fire, here we go, two more times, and up, roll over, can open the shoulders down. We're gonna lower the feet down, create length in the spine as you take the legs to the sky and roll back and legs away. One last one here, bring it up and roll over, press the arms down, tap and lift the legs, opening the front of the hip, pressing the leg back. Use your tricep, press it down. And we roll away. Again, bring the legs diagonally, well done. Bend the knees in, lower one foot down. Second leg down here, arms on the side of the roller. Stretch your right leg down on the floor and lift the left leg up. Grab the knee, hold on with the hands, pull into your chest. A quick stretch for the hip flexors. Dorsiflex your right foot on the floor as we pull the left thigh to your chest. Inhale, elongating the front of your hip, feeling the openness or the stretch across the front of the pelvis here. Exhale. Last one. And then switch, bring the leg up. And the other one comes down, dorsiflex, oh, the front, dorsiflex, the foot, stretch the front of the left hip here as we pull the right knee to your chest. Inhale, exhale. Can we melt that lower back down to the floor a little bit more here? So we can intensify the stretch in front of the pelvis. One more here, in breath, exhale. Okay, bring the foot in, lower the other one down, curl the pelvis and just push the roller out to the side and grab the roller in your hand, stretch the leg long, arms overhead with the roller for the roll ups. Again, we inhale to lift, whoop, I'm not center. Can you make sure that your legs are in the center? Exhale. We roll up into the C curve, pull back with the abdominal. Exhale, back. Gently press your hands into the roller so you can activate your arm and pull back in the abdominal as your back comes up and over your pelvis. And we roll back again. Two more times here, please. We inhale. To the chest lift, exhale, we'll lift up and over. And exhale, we roll back. Can we get the lower back onto the floor, please? Last one, and breath. Exhale, up and over, up and over, up and over. Lift the spine up, arms overhead. I'm just gonna pull my hands up. I think feel like I'm losing them. All right, now take the arms overhead, dorsiflex the foot for our spine toys here. Create a beautiful length in the spine, rotate to me, double breath. In breath, exhale. In breath, exhale. 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 And tall. Last set. Last one. 
lift toe, toe, taller, and release. Bring the roller underneath you for the rolling like a ball. I want you to squeeze the roller behind your ankle and with your thigh here. And then bring your hands, make sure your roller is balanced with the left and right. Bring your hands just above the ankle here. Lift the feet off, balance on your tailbone. Keep that curve in the spine. And now I want you to roll back to the shoulder. Exhale, shh, balance. In breath, really, really squeeze that roller between your heels and your pelvis. In breath, your thighs. Exhale, shh. Inhale, hold the shape. Exhale, use your arm muscle. Last two. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, exhale, balance, balance, and we lower. Okay, now straighten the leg. Bring the roller just above the ankle. You rest your feet on the roller here for our back support. So I want you to come a little bit more into the middle of your mat here so we don't lose any space on the other side. Back is nice and straight. Plant your arms down, lift the spine and your feet can be slightly open there. Now here, lift your pelvis slightly off the floor. I want you to just bring, lift the pelvis up, open the chest onto our back support position and then come back folding through the hip and come back and then again lift up and then in and so lift up and fold through the hip come back two more lift up in breath last one lift up in breath and well done hero bring the roller with you and i want you to go on to a quadruped position so have your knees have the underneath the knees resting on the roller okay here we go now a quadruped position here with the roller underneath your legs here so opening across the front of the chest Holding the center so we're not swaying our back down. Nice long spine. Take your right knee off. Take it up for some hip extension with the bend knee exercise. We lift, stabilize the pelvis, we lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And lower. Three more. Find your balance. Two more. Last one. Okay, straighten the leg behind you and we'll lift. And lower. We'll lift. And lower. On three. And four. And five. Let's go three more here. Strong through the arms. Two, last one, we lift, hold, and we'll bring it down. We bring it in and place that leg down on the roller. And let's go to the other side. We'll lift, and in. We'll lift, and that's a three, and four. So keep those arms nice and strong, stay with me. And six, let's go two more here. And last one here, lift and bring it down. Straighten the leg behind you and we'll lift. And we'll lift. And three, stabilize your pelvis, stabilize your lower spine. And up, let's go three more, up. Two, hang on there. Last one, lift, we hold, hold. Bring it down, bring it in. Now stay there into a round back cat. Breathe out. And then come back, 
just to that neutral spine. Exhale, two more. Pull up with the center, push down with the hand. And flat. Last one. Now stay here. And then for our knee stretch, we pull the knees in. Keep the spine in flexion. Inhale. Leg back. Exhale. Deep, deep, deep flexion. In breath. Exhale. In breath. How far can you bring the knees forward, keeping that deflection in the spine? That's the challenge there. Exhale. And back. Two more. Push the floor away. Last one. Deflection. Knees forward, forward, forward. Then bring it back. And release back to neutral. Excellent. Lower the feet down. Lift the pelvis high for an up stretch. And lower the feet down. Sending the pelvis long to the sky. Pressing the outer armpit down to the floor. A little prancing perhaps. And we just prance the leg away. One more each side. Both heels come up to tiptoes. Both heels come down as you pelvis stay nice and lifted. And we come back down. All right, now face me for our side bridge. Onto your forearm, onto your forearm. Half your top leg in front of the bottom. Bring the roller just above the ankle here. So your knees will start in a bent position. I want this not to slouch down. I want it to lift up and activate this oblique muscle and your lat muscle, okay? Now here, strong base. Then we stretch. Left. Then we can come bend the knees, we can come down and on reach. Or you can stay up and just bring it in. So you can choose whether you want to come down or stay up with me and reach. Just gonna readjust my leg and bring in. And a reach. Strong to center. And in. Two more. Reach. And. And. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And come on down. All right. Bring the roller over to this side. You can just push it up. And here we go. Okay, on to our forearm, top leg in front of the bottom. Okay, set yourself. All right, here we go. We reach, lift, we can come down and bend the knee, or we can stay up with me. We bend, and up, we bend, and up. We bend and press and bend and press. I'm gonna stretch the spine as long as you can. Let that gummy snake reach. One more and reach, lift, 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 and lift and hold that. And we come back down. Nice. Okay onto our front for our swan here. So we're gonna lie prone on our belly. We're gonna have your forearm, palms facing down, about a third away from your wrist. Your legs are gonna be nice and long behind you. Okay, now here, we're going to press the outer shoulder the outer armpit down to the floor. It's almost like you're gonna press a little pinky down to the floor here. So your latissimus muscle can't be on, switched on. Now here, I want you to just lift the shoulder blades up and then draw the shoulder blades down towards the middle back and elevate and downward. Two more, elevate. And I'm pressing the outer armpit down as you get the shoulder blades into the mid back. And then we're gonna add some extension here. We inhale. 
and then as exhale get the shoulder blades down and then inhale I want you to just lift the upper back just lift onto your middle back your thoracic here so really feeling that middle back nice and working here and come back down and again inhale as you glide the shoulder blades down lift the spine and Let's go two more like that. In breath. Don't forget about your feet. They need to stay nice and active and down on the floor and not any wider than your pelvis, please. Last one. And keeping the spine long and longer. And then we're going to take it a little bit higher here to your fourth one. So we inhale. We're going to take it up to your highest point and then as you go down i want your legs to start to float for our swan dive prep and in we lift and we come down the legs will start to float and we lift go to your highest point and lift the legs Two more. Lift. Press the hands onto the roller. But I want you to lift up off the roller. Last one. Legs are shaking. They're working. Lift. And legs come up. And we come down. I'm just going to bring myself to the front of the mat. Now we're going to take ourselves to a swan dive catch. So we're going to do eight of this. You can watch me for one repetition and then you can come and join me. But if you know what is one death catch, come and join me straight away. So we take ourselves to come up to your maximum, maximum beautiful swan. Now as you go down, as you release us back down, the legs come up and then we lift and up and then lift and up and then lift and up and lift. Four. Two more. Last one. We lift and hold. And we come down. Well done. Okay. Arms to the side of the shoulder. Push away to your rest position. Good job. In breath. Get your breath. One more time. Inhale. And let's roll the spine up. Okay. The cat kneeling. All right, let's bring the roller closer to you. Come up onto your knees here. Last exercise for the day. You've done very well staying with me until now. So just one more. Okay. Left us. Then we go rolling down. Your hands will kind of just, whoa, kind of roll the roller away for me a little bit. And then from there, you're gonna articulate into a slight diagonal position, a diagonal position. And from there, you're gonna curl the pelvis under and think about pressing the pelvis forward to roll yourself back up to kneeling upright. And we go down. Find a roller, roll away for a moment, and then bring the spine down and forward. See if we can get the thigh in a vertical alignment there. So you're not sitting back onto your heels, but I'm really trying to bring the pelvis over your knees. Then exhale, curl the lower abs, curl the pelvis, lift the lower abs, that's better. Roll the spine up and take it up. Two more time, please. We're gonna roll down. And forward, in breath, breathe, exhale, curling, base of the pelvis, lower back, middle back, upper back, one more, find a roller, roll away, and press away, reach, 
press the outer armpit down to the floor, hold your center. Exhale. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Roll left, roll left, roll left. And tuck the toes under, hands down. Push yourself upside down. Make sure your feet are in a parallel position. And just stay here in a, for a moment. Allow the body, allow the hip to go into deepest flexion you possibly can do. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Exhale, softening through the knees as we roll the spine up. Take yourself into a beautiful articulation and take yourself into a nice tall position. Continue growing with that little string above the head. That's to pull yourself up to the tallest possible point. And then we go ahead and roll down again. And allow the spine to just go with it. Just let it move. And then bring the pelvis forward and down. Fold your body in half. Go closer towards your legs. And softening through the knees as we curl the spine up. And up. And up. And up. And you got that piece of string above the head. Lift. Allow that string to allow yourself to grow more and more and taller. And then stay here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In breath. Exhale. And let it go. Wow. Thank you for staying with me. Beautiful work. Keep up the beautiful work and I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Well done on completing this class, Your Star. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.